Hey, y'all, it's me. Listen, I want you to win. Okay? Listen, but what you're going to have to do is take off that aluminum foil. And you are going to have to put on his whole armor. I'm, tell I'm telling you, that's the only way you're going to win. Stay tuned. Hey, y'all, it's me, Bernita Rochelle. Listen, thank y'all for coming to my spoken word and conversations. Y'all, I got a good one. This one may be an oldie. This is one of my old ones. I have to bring them back because, you know, things have changed. So let me just tell you, meaning like I have grown into this YouTube thing. Okay, that's all I mean. So this one is called Girl your status is about to change okay i wrote this december 31st 2020. y'all want to win listen let me tell you just hear me out hear me out all right y'all sometimes these glasses be make me look cross-eyed i'm not cross-eyed so if y'all ever see my eyes cross-eyed on here <laughs> i am not cross-eyed it has something to do with this her and these glasses. Okay, that was enough. But anyway, it's called, Girl, Your Status is About to Change. And it is. Girl, your status is about to change. But you are going to have to put, you're going to have to take off that aluminum foil and put on his whole armor that's the only way Ephesians 6 and 11 says put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil listen hey girl your status is about to change don't let anyone tell you differently girl your status is about to change they may say, oh, I remember when you used to. Yep, me too. But she don't live here anymore. No, she don't. Psalm 16 and 11 says, you will show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand, there are pleasures for." evermore girl your status is about to change so just shh, listen can you hear them girl your status is about to change listen y'all remember what mary mary said but what they don't know is when you get home and get behind closed doors, man, you hit the floor. And what they can't see is you're on your knees. Girl, your status is about to change. Let me tell you, who was that inspired by? That was inspired by a friend that was starting to go through her process. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? Now listen, I'm about to tell y'all my thoughts on it, okay? The only way your status is going to change is you are going to have to put in some work. I know people, people be like, you be straddling that fence. You'd be like, I'm going to step over here, but I'm going to still do my dirt. <laughs> I'm going to have them come over. Y'all know. I will say this unto forever about you have to put in the work because you do literally have to put in the work. You can't. My experience was you can't just half do it. You know, you still be trying to. Oof. Let me not even, let me not even go back there. Let me no, not even go back there. But you know what it's going to take? It's going to take some bruises, some hurts. I'm, this is how I got through mine. When, when he say it was good that I was afflicted, let me tell you, 
that may sound strange to some, but the people that know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. That I was afflicted, you know, cause you, that makes you see, no, something has to change. And the process is pruning. The process is pruning, is throwing away all that stuff that you used to hold on to. Okay. That's how it is. Just like Angela White, um, Black China, how she did, it's a pruning to that. She still worked through her process, but you can see the change. Okay. So that's that. You have to be honest with yourself about some things. That baggage, that hurt that you have, you have to be intentional on getting rid of it. Getting rid of it, what your baby daddy or your baby's father may have did. You know, you got to say baby daddy and baby father because you got some fathers and you got some daddies, okay? Then you got some donors. So you have to be honest about getting over that hurt. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get you some therapy. Get some therapy. Now, I ain't saying I'm licensed. That's not what I do. I'm just here to encourage you and tell you about your purpose, okay? And tell you my experience. We're showing you a little of my experience, okay? So that's basically what I feel like you would have to do, okay? Don't be putting, keeping people on probation. Don't do it. Don't keep them on probation. Let them people go. Let them go. Love people from afar, okay? You can't do it. Love people from afar. That doesn't mean that you don't care about them. You just know what your capacity is and the work that you're doing. You don't want nobody else to mess up your work because it is work, okay? <laughs> That does not mean you don't love them. It means that you love yourself more. And you're going to do what it takes for you to stay on your, stay on your uh, process, stay in your process, stay in your healing, stay in your pruning. Because, hey, there are some people that will try to take you back. Ooh, they be trying to take you back. But remember, she does not live here anymore. That person back then, she don't live here no more. All right? Y'all, listen. I am so grateful. Thank you so much for our channel. Thank you to my new ones and thank you to my day ones, y'all. I'm so glad that you are watching. You guys are making my day. Y'all make me smile every time I look to see how the channel is growing. I haven't looked yet, but I'm, I look, you know, I look on Monday sometimes or, uh, Sunday. Wait, what day? What am I? Well, whatever. I don't know when the last day I looked, but y'all thank y'all so much for watching. Okay. Now that's it. That's all that I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, we want you to win. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Peace. Y'all, I am going to show you also my other stuff that I do. I'm just going to add it to this video, okay? I went vegan last year from, uh, this was my first time doing it, right? Last year. I went from June to August. I didn't eat no meat. And I'm already allergic to dairies, eggs, and bananas. So this is really going to be helpful. But what, um, so I said, okay, I went from June to August. I stopped, okay? But I was like, let me try this again. So three weeks ago, I tried it again. So this will be my third week coming up this Saturday. It was really my second week. This Saturday passed, but um, I went back to eating just, you know, just eating um, fruits, vegetables, and whatever else consists into this vegan thing, okay? Y'all, I'm telling you, 
I'm finna show y'all some pictures of some cheese that I made out of cashew nuts, all right? And some other stuff you mix up in there, you put, and some other stuff you mix up in there, you put um, potatoes and carrots and then this nutritional yeast stuff, y'all. And this, listen, when I show y'all this picture of this jackfruit, y'all gonna think it's some chopped pork. You gonna think it's some chopped pork but it's not. Then I did it in a burrito. I tried to do that burrito burrito thing. And ways that I show you, and I made it a couple different ways. I made it taco. So you can see the taco. I made it via just the, like the tortilla. And I made my tortilla from scratch. And I'm also about to get a tortilla maker. You know, I make the batter, the fill, you know, the uh, crust, the, the dough. I'll make the dough and then I'll just press it in this little presser that I'm about to get. And then I did it in nachos. So I want y'all to look at this, okay? This is just the other little stuff that I do because I started my channel off with cooking and exercises at first. So I'll still intertwine those things, but I think I'm going to just put those at the end of some of these videos, okay? Y'all, watch this. Tell me. Look, I was almost going to end it with my... Y'all, that's it. That's all for me today. <laughs> but anyway, y'all just watch these videos. Tell, tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me how, it, that when y'all see this cheese, y'all gonna be like, what and how does that look like cheese? It looks like melted cheese and it tastes like melted cheese. So y'all check this out. <laughs>